right, tell us what we found here. This is a Texas garter snake, and it looks like, it almost looks like a large ribbon snake with mouth bars on its mouth. It does have mouth bar. Hold on, keep it still. It's, it's stinky. <laughs> right now, its Man. blue eyes show that it is in shed. Now, these will look a lot like large ribbon snakes. No. Yeah, and it smells awful. This looks like chocolate, but it's actually poop. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the reason this I'm is the first one we found of these, huh? Yeah, the reason I'm so excited is these snakes have such a small range; they are extremely hard to find. And so, what makes this a little bit different than a ribbon snake? Well, because those one, are more common. For one thing, these are bigger. They're bigger, okay. And they eat bigger things. They also like the ratio of the tail to its body. So, find its anal vent where it poops out of. Right here. So and technically the that ribbon snakes is farther down. Well, the tail is a lot longer. In ribbon snakes. In a ribbon snake. Ooh, so this red. one is relatively short. Why is it red? Oh, it is stinky. Man. Why is it red, Daddy? Red? That was a good job ID eating that right away. Oh. I am so So let's happy. tell some people how we can tell how we can tell it's a um it's a garter snake. It's a garter snake instead of a ribbon snake. Well, of the appearing appearances, you can look can at. Can you hold it still a little bit on its bars. head? You see its mouth bars, little black it. bars on its mouth. Man, let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. And another thing, um, these usually tend to get a little bit larger than ribbon snakes. And a little bit fatter too, huh? Yeah, a little bit fatter. Like I can tell that it's a little bit bigger in your hands. Yeah, I have. This is exciting. Very. This is the first one of these that we've. Oh, that and you found, they also huh? have slightly rougher scales. Oh, rough. did you know that, or can you tell now? I can tell now, but. You rest. can also see as it's kind of breathing. You can see a little bit of a, like almost a little checker pattern. Checked pattern, yeah. That's cool. Man, what a great find. That's cool. We didn't think anything would be under here. Nope. We've been we've searched yet, under this a lot and never had find, any luck. And yet we find one of the most hardest to find snakes in Texas. In our area, in especially. Our area. Pretty cool. Bet this is the first one ever found in Grayson County. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's not the first one found in Grayson County. But there's not a lot of them that we come across. Mostly it's just ribbon snakes. Cool. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna get a couple of pictures, so keep holding it, okay? Put it back in the Back under? Yep. All right. All right, so. Hold it over a little bit. Both back. Okay. All right, little guy. See ya. There he goes. Now go wash your hands. For sure.